Audit committees play a vital role in the integrity of the financial reporting system. Our primary role is oversight of financial reporting, including the audit of the company's financial statements and internal control over financial reporting. I've served on eight public company audit committees over the last 18 years and often chair the audit committee. I believe we all want the same outcome, to provide reliable, high quality financial information to the market and our investors. Audit committees are highly engaged. We review the annual and quarterly financial statements and management's discussion and analysis. We review the, the company's earnings news release and the supplemental financial information provided to the investment community. We review critical accounting policies and the use of estimates and judgments with both management and the external auditor. We discuss the company's accounting policies and how they may compare to peer companies within the industry. We review the amount of judgment required in the use of estimates and the resulting level of risk. We review the disclosure control processes and internal control over financial reporting. While I think we all struggled with parts of the implementation of SOX, there were a number of good outcomes, including the explicit certification of financial statements by the CEO and CFO. I think the most important change at the board level was the requirement for executive sessions. At the audit committee, we meet separately with the chief financial officer and chief accounting officer, internal audit and the external audit team. We then meet together as a committee to discuss anything the members would like me to pursue further. These private meetings allow each group to discuss anything they may be hesitant to discuss with others in the room. A free and open dialogue is essential for a high quality audit. Effective oversight by a strong, active, and independent audit committee is key to our common goal of providing high quality, reliable financial statements. We often have oversight responsibility for enterprise risk management, cybersecurity, and compliance. And we may now have oversight responsibility for the internal controls over ESG and climate reporting. Sometimes the full board or another committee may be better positioned to oversee these risks. So the board evaluates committee responsibilities on a regular basis. This is a question that's coming up quite frequently these days with the debate around whether or not audit firms should also provide consulting services. Personally, I prefer that the audit firms maintain subject matter expertise, including machine learning and artificial intelligence, valuation, actuarial, and cybersecurity expertise within the audit firm. When I was chair of the audit committee at Sun Life, the actuarial team at our audit firm provided invaluable expertise to the audit process. As companies become more complex, their accounting and financial reporting also become more complex. The speed of change in IT environments and business models is unprecedented. Having these experts and specialists available to support the audit team improves audit quality from my perspective. 